CA. Now let's shift attention to movement for the transportation sector. Nigerians are curious and eager to know what is in stock for the development of the transportation industry. Let's now join Winaya Kalu as she x-rays the agenda setting from the point of experts and stakeholders. The railway system plays a critical role in any country's social economic development. But in Nigeria, the railway sector was abandoned for more than 30 years. Although different administrations made efforts in revolving the sector, it only saw the light of the day with the coming of the administration of former President Muhammadu Buhari in 2015. In eight years, four projects were completed and in operations. The double track Lagos Sibad and Standard Rail, the long awaited Itakmewari Rail, the Abuja Light Rail, and Nigeria's first standard gauge, the Abuja to Kaduna Rail Line. The Abuja to Kaduna Rail Line is the first standard gauge railway line to become operational, and since it was inaugurated in 2016, this rail line has moved not less than 15 million passengers from Abuja to Kaduna and back. Besides the completed rail lines, federal government also embarked on the construction of new rail projects in Kaduna to Kano and Port Harcourt to Meduguri. What should be the focus of this administration in order to further promote the development of the railway sector? They started the journey. Maybe they, they were not able to accomplish it. I think they should go back and start working on those railways so that it will bring down to subs uh, subsidize the, the transport rates. From this informal setting to the view of a widely traveled Nigeria, the Director General of National Council for Arts and Culture, Lucia Gouwe who believes on the expansion of the reach of the rail network. What we need more on roads in every state of Nigeria is the monorail. Like if you are coming from Karki, what takes you from here to Gaki, Gaki to Usetu, Usetu to uh, Zone 6, is monorail. A monorail, I'm assuring you today, will change the story of Nigeria. For experts in the industry, the new administration should be consistent with massive investment in rail development while prioritizing the completion of ongoing projects. Special attention be given to this sector, that is the rail sector. The policy consistency and continuity to develop a 10-year rail development plan. That's what Egypt did with its railways, 20 years consistent budget. Addressing the security challenges of train attacks, kidnapping and vandalization of facilities by investing in new technology should be of top priority. Between uh, Mokwa to some place in around Kaduna, uh, vandals you know, have removed the rail tracks and the, the, the train was attacked and so on. So this issue of security and so on. But you can see, you can monitor the tracks. Technology has provided that. Issues of poor maintenance, key players said, should be tackled by attracting private sector participation in rail development. We reform and restructure that environment. So you bring money, you bring private sector into the fray. They have to run it for profit which means that they would need to go and find the money um, to put on the necessary equipment, to put on the necessary manpower to deliver the results. Experts maintain that agenda setting for Nigeria's rail system holds great potential to transform the country's transportation sector and drive economic development. Oyinaya Kalo Oka, NTA News.